Well, as we're getting closer to the due date of Farrah's babies, I figured I would uh, try not to get my hand bit off, but show you how fat this girl is. The camera doesn't even do her justice. She is fat and flat. She looks like an inner tube that is uh, basically partially deflated. She's got a big litter inside of her. And she's due around May 11th or May 12th. Um, let's see. She had her shed. I didn't write it down. It's on my website. But uh, May 11th is going to mark day 100 since her post-ovulatory shed. And she usually has her babies either on day 100 or day 101 uh, from the shed. So I'm expecting either May 11th or May 12th can see how fat she is. I mean, she is just fat. Fat and flat. Monster litter. Um, these babies are going to be all double head sun glow. Uh, the dad was an albino. And because she is a super salmon, all of her babies are going to be visual salmons. And they're all going to be carrying the uh, albino gene, so they're going to be double head for sun glow. Which means I can grow them up breed them either back to one another or breed them to another snake that has the albino gene. And we'll get sun glows. Um, a long process, obviously. I am hoping that another snake uh, that's owned by a friend of mine, Brandon Nixon, uh, she's been bred by my double head sun glow male, and I'm hoping to actually have some sun glows and some albinos from her in June. Um, but I decided to uh, try to do double head sun glows with Farah. This is going to be her fourth year in a row of having babies. I've decided I'm going to give her a break. I am going to give her the fall of this year off. So she won't breed again until the fall of 2010. She'll have a litter again in the fall of 2011. I just think it's better after four straight years of breeding to give her a year off just to kind of recuperate and put on some more size and you know, and it, it's, I think it will help in her longevity of her life. You can see how her scale separation is just tremendous. And uh, I'm really hoping the camera is capturing how flat she is. She is just flat, flat, flat. I mean, normally she doesn't, uh, she doesn't look like this at all. You know, you want to look at, you want to look at a normal snake. Well, she just, this guy's just eight. I mean, that's not a good idea, but... You know, see how that snake kind of what I ha I refer to as like the model train kind of a body. It's like that, like a box car, you know, of a model train. It's just long and thin and it's taller than it is wide. That's my son, I mean, that's my, uh, my male hog. But, you know, that's your normal boa look. And you go back to her and she's fat and flat. Somebody's calling me on my phone. Um, so, she's got a nice big litter in her, and maybe she'll break her record. She had 25 last year. Maybe she'll actually have more this year. But, uh, she's due now. What's today? Today is, what, the 23rd? So, shouldn't be that much longer, but, uh, I am, uh, anxiously looking forward to trying to video the birth of these guys, so... Thanks a lot for watching. As it gets closer, um, I'm going to have this camera ready and do my best to get this birth live on film. So wish me luck with that. Okay, we'll see you later.